me see. Okay. Uh, it says live, John. Let me just see if we're live. Say hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Just let... It's John Mella here. We're just setting it up and testing it right now. See how it's going. And you probably hear Julie in the background. Julie's been... Yeah, um, it's on. We're on, I think. On? I see. Yeah. Okay, okay, so I want to welcome you all today. No doubt people will keep joining as we go on. And uh, it's going to be an exciting half hour of prayer. And I want to stir your faith to believe that God can heal you. He can set you free. That Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. And those who don't know me, my name is John Mellow. And uh, I believe in miracles. My wife and I have a ministry. And we believe that nothing is impossible for God. So, so right now, um, uh, welcome as you're coming on. And I know some people... Uh, continue, uh, continuing to join at the moment and I just want to share some scriptures with you just before we start praying I just want to let you know that that um, that my Julie will be, will be monitoring the screen for me hey hey everyone and Julie's hand she's behind <laughs> the scenes there and I'm doing all this she'll be monitoring 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 the whole thing with me and keep in mind that you know if I pray for somebody who's got a certain condition if you have the same condition you can lay hands and on yourself and believe the power of God can touch you too. So if I name somebody, it doesn't mean just for that person, it's or every person who also has that condition the person uh, has as well. So, so you know, uh, it's all about stepping out and reaching out and believing God for the impossible. So um, I'm just going to read a scripture here. And that is Matthew chapter 8. We see from 5 to 13. There's a wonderful story about the centurion, Roman soldier, came to Jesus and uh, when he had entered Capernaum, verse 5, a centurion came to Jesus, um, appealing to him, Lord, my servant is lying paralyzed at home, suffering terribly. And he said to him, I will come and heal him. I love that. Jesus was to come and heal you. The centurion had a need, not for himself, for his servant. You have a need today. But the same Jesus, the words of Jesus is, I will come and heal you. And the power of God is going to flow through this live stream. He's going to flow into the airways through this filming right now. And then he said, and the centurion said, Lord, uh, I'm not worthy to have you come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. The centurion had a revelation of the power of God that, 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 that there's just one word of faith, one word of life can pierce the darkness. One word of healing can come and, and, and save and deliver this man's servant. And you know, the same word of God, 2,000 years later, as, we, as I declare this word, as I pray this word, the same healing word can come into your life. See, so, so, so Jesus never actually went to pray for the servant. The word was declared. You know, right now, physically, I can't lay hands on you. But the same principle, there's no distance in faith. As I pray, the power of God is going to flow into your body, Amen. into your mind, whatever situation you're facing. And uh, no doubt, if you look at our website, our YouTube, you've seen thousands upon thousands of outstanding miracles. Even doctors are confused. They don't modern, modern, modern medicine doesn't understand this, that Jesus does the impossible. Nothing is impossible for him. And so, and so when this, at the end of this, uh, verse 13 of, of chapter 8, Jesus said to the centurion, he said, go... Let it be done to you as you have believed. And you know what? You're tuning in tonight because you believe. Let it be done to you as, as you've come and believing in faith for a miracle tonight. I believe the power of God is going to come and touch you. And it says, and the servant was healed at the very hour. And so, so the power of God is going to flow. And, uh, and right now, I'm going to pray for, for you to be healed, to be set free. And uh, Julie, has anyone have um, got requests here? Yeah, hi everyone. Lots of people tuning in. Lots of our favourites. We'll say hello as we go. <laughs> um, okay, John. There's an Angela Muir. She's from England, and she yep. needs healing from motor neuron. You might remember she came to Worthing. She couldn't actually speak. She didn't actually get prayer from you, but yeah. from Pastor Drew. And there's also an Alexandra Napa. Also, uh, she's from Victoria, I believe. She also needs prayer for motor neuron. So how about we start with Angela Muir from. Uh, healing from motor neuron and that she would get a voice back and be able to breathe and okay. let's pray for Angela but also if, if you have a nerve related disease Parkinson's disease um, multiple cirrhosis whatever nerve disease or MS if you have a, 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 a nerve disease of any kind 
You, you can believe for yourself or you can just dare to believe that as I pray, God can touch whatever need you have. So Lord Jesus, we declare healing right now for Angela. Let your healing power flow into her body. I decree a miracle God restore her voice. Amen. I command life to the vocal cords right now. I break that right now yes. in your wonderful name, Jesus. May your be broken right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for healing power to flow into her mind and her nervous system, in her throat, every part of her being, I declare life. And every other person who's suffering a nerve disease too. And Alexandra Napa is tuned in. She's and online now. Alexandra Napa. Also motor neuron. Let healing come in your body right now. I declare a miracle in the name of of Jesus. She needs life to her legs. I command life to her legs. That healing power flow right now into those legs, into the nerves. Every person of motor neuron or every nerve disease, I command life now in Jesus' name. Amen. There's Karen Mumford online. She needs healing from osteoarthritis. Karen, for osteoarthritis. And there's also Lauren, who uh, I think she's from Perth. She needs healing Jesus, from osteo Karen and Lauren right osteoarthritis. Now. Go. Look, by the way, if you have those conditions, you've got pain, you lay your hands right now, God can touch you too. Let your healing power flow right now mm -hmm. to Karen and Lauren. There's arthritis, osteoarthritis. I declare healing right now. Arthritis, go in Jesus' name. I command the pain to go from every joint, from the body, right now, be healed. In Jesus' name, and every other person is tuning in who's believing that with their hands are laid for pain or arthritis, I declare healing for you too. Let the anointing power flow, Jesus, right now and touch every single person. Amen. Okay, uh, Paula Connolly from fatigue and infection of her daughter. Guy, heal Paula right now from fatigue and infection daughter. for her daughter right now. Let your power flow right now. I declare a miracle. I decree healing right now in that situation. Total healing. Thank you, Lord, for healing power flowing right now. Pain is leaving. Stiffness is going. Total healing in Jesus' name. A lady called Natasha uh, Missens. She needs healing for many things. Blocked ears, dizziness, God, heal heart. Natasha right now. Her heart, dizziness, blocked ears, everything. Degeneration oh, of the Lord, spine. Lord, just touch that Natasha right now, wherever she is. Let your healing virtue, healing power flow into her, her. According to your word, God, there's no distance in your word. Set her free. We declare it right now by faith. And every other person who's praying also along this prayer right now, let your anointing flow over their bodies, every need they had in your wonderful name, Lord. Amen. A lady called Maria Prukutu Hub, it's quite a comp um, difficult surname. Maria needs uh, her bulging discs and migraines and beside us here. God, heal Maria right now. I decree a miracle Amen. for Maria. I command all the pain to go, bulging discs in the spine. Let your anointing power flow for the spine right now and set her free in Jesus' name. Every part of Maria's body, I declare healing all pain to go. And once again, everyone who's tuning in, you've got pain right now. You're laying your hands in your body. You've got a spinal problem like Maria. I declare the healing power of God to flow in your body or pain to go, stiffness to go in the name of Jesus. Amen. Kay Kerwin needs healing for a fever and back pain. And there's actually quite a lot of people who need healing for tinnitus, John. Lord Jesus, right now touch Kay, uh, the fever and the spinal pain. All spines right now, along with K, all spines to be healed. Let your healing power flow through the spines right now. Whatever the condition, God, I command pain to go right now. Tailbone, spines, spines, necks, fever to go right now. Every person right now. We thank you, God, for your healing power that's flowing right now uh, through that. As they laying their hands in their bodies, your anointing is flowing into their bodies right now. Pain is leaving Amen. in Jesus' name. We declare a turnaround in Jesus' name. A turn, a, a create a miracle in those spines in Jesus' name. Let it be so. Amen. And this for Ray Bloomfield. Needs pro healing from mantle cell lymphoma. Lord, heal, heal Ray right now for mantle cell lymphoma right now. In fact, all forms of cancer, all forms of lymphoma that people are suffering from. But God, touch Ray right now. I decree a miracle, a turnaround for Ray in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for your healing power that's flowing through Ray right now. I declare a turnaround. And every other person with lymphoma or cancer, let your anointing power flow right now into their bodies, into their cells right now. Even the effects of radiation or chemo, uh, what are the effects of cancer they've had? I declare a breakthrough for them right now 
in Jesus' name. Amen. Jody Gianch needs healing from basal cell carcinoma. Go heal Jody from the basal cell carcinoma. Carcinoma. Carcinoma right now. Heal Jody right now. That your healing power flow in the part of the body where that is. I command every cancer cell to die. And Lord, also touch Jody's mind, Lord. In fact, everyone who I'm praying for, Lord, touch their minds with the stress of having illness in their body or pain. Touch their minds and their emotions. But I break cancer right now. Amen. The, car, the, the carcinoma to be healed in the name of Jesus. Let it be so. Jody's husband's actually Jonathan from the from the Newsboys. So Pastor Fran's brother, and he also has a skin condition for Jonathan that needs healing. Do I heal Jonathan's skin condition right now? Lord, whatever it is, God, the healing power flow over Jonathan's body, over his skin right now. I declare a miracle for Jonathan. And God, anyone else with a skin condition, if you're praying that skin cancer, or you go to psoriasis or itchiness, whatever skin problem, Lord, let your healing power flow right now in the people's skin right now. All itchiness to go, all eczema to go right now. Skin cancer to be healed right now in Jesus' name. Um, Catherine Hope also needs prayer for osteoarthritis to be healed. And Lord, heal Catherine right now, osteoarthritis. I command the pain to go. I command every joint to be released right now. All arthritis to go right now. Heal her right now, Jesus. And every, every other person is bleeding for arthritis, I decree healing for arthritis right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for healing powers flowing in the people's bodies right now. Set them free. We thank you, God. A lady called Stelt's Heart for Achilles tendonitis pain in the calf and knee. God, heal that lady right now in the Stelts, calf yeah. and the knot knee right now. That um, the tendonitis right now, the pain to go, inflammation to go from the from the tendons, from the ankles, from the knees. I command all the pain to go right now. We thank you, God, for healing power flowing for her right now. Amen. For Karen Simpson and the aftermath of breast cancer and the damage to the lungs. Asthma, yes, God, heal Karen, lymphedema. Heal Karen Simpson right now. Touch her lungs, Lord Jesus. The effects of this cancer. Uh, touch her right now in the lungs, the whole body. All the effects of the weakness, the breathing. And God, touch her right now and set her free. And every other person with any breathing problems or lung problems. And by the way, before Julie says anything else, you know, towards the end of this um, session, I'm going to be praying against the coronavirus. But also, not only the coronavirus, but the fear of it. People are scared. They, they have fear. But you know, we, 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 we have, Jesus is alive. There's power in his blood. So I'm going to pray towards the end of this session uh, for peace for your mind and for, for supernatural protection. Who else is there, Julian? Alice Van from fibromyalgia and an inflamed lower disc. God, heal Alice right now from fibromyalgia and a inflamed lower, lower disc. Let your power just flow through her spine right now. From around you, go in Jesus' name. All inflammation, all pain to go from Alice right now. And you know, if you've also got fibromyalgia, Lord, touch every person tuning in right now who's got fibromyalgia also, Jesus, and who's suffering those conditions right now. Let your power flow through them and set them free. There's actually a lot of people who've got various um, disc problems, John. And pray for our friend um, in Bendigo, um, Karen Spears, uh, uh, Fiona Spears. She had a spinal operation and she's got numbness in her she's feet. She's right now. We pray Karen. for a miracle for uh, Fiona Spears. Fiona Spears so right now Karen, in Bendigo. Fiona. Go for Fiona right now. Miracle, Lord. I command all the pain to go from her spine and go for numbness to go right now. And go the effects of that surgery and operation. Touch Fiona right now. We thank you, God, for your power flowing through her. And Fiona's right brother, now. Our, our lovely friend John, he's John. got shingles and all God, over his body. Touch John's shingles. Fiona's brother's John's shingles. Touch him right now. All shingles that go from John right now. That you power flow over John. That painful shingle. Let it all go right now in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Amen. Miriam's a worship leader and she's got ongoing laryngitis and pain in the throat. God, heal Miriam's throat right now. Well, I declare a miracle right now. Healthy vocal cords. I command all the soreness to go. I declare a miracle for Miriam right now in Jesus' name. You know, there's something that's so important you can understand about healing. You know, many times when Jesus prayed, people will heal instantly. But sometimes they'll heal from that hour. And sometimes when I pray, the healing can be instant. We've seen so many people heal this way. But you know, sometimes when I pray, people might notice a big change, but then gradually the healing continues and uh, it might improve every, every hour or every day. But I want to encourage you, God is at work. 
There's no distance in prayer. God is touching you right now. In fact, I, I've had people heal who've not even reached out for prayer. They've been sitting watching this, uh, this, uh, these, these sort of prayers. They've sat under the anointing and God's touched them. There is anointing flowing tonight. It's anointing flowing right now. Uh, whoever's tuning in, God is, God is touching people right now. Okay, Tracy White is due to have surgery on Wednesday for stage two melanoma. God, he'll stay Tracy. Tra Tracy right now. I break that stage two melanoma in Jesus' name. I command every cancer cell to die, that melanoma will dry up in the name of Jesus. And God, touch Tracy's mind. I declare peace for Tracy in your wonderful name, Jesus. A miracle for her life now. Okay, for Paul, uh, Zenardo, middle back pain. There's quite a few people who've got back yeah, pain, John. Listen, Robert, once again, you've got back pain. Put your hand on your spine as an act of faith. And Paul, I'm going to pray for you right now. Lord, touch Paul right now. Lord, let your power flow through Paul's spine right now. I command all that pain to go. I command stiffness to go. And God, a miracle for Paul. We thank you for your healing power, your anointing that's flowing over Paul right now. And every other person, whatever spinal problem, we thank you, God, for touching them right now for your power. Man, I, I can just really feel the anointing in this lounge room where I am at home. I can really feel the anointing flowing over you right now. And you've got to understand, you know, this will also be up online also a bit later. And, you know, you can go back, you can actually replay this clip over and over again, get on the anointing. But, 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 but there's no distance in prayer. There's no time in prayer. Okay, Chris Watson, plantar fasciitis and Morton's neuroma. God heal Chris right now from plantar fasciitis. Touch his feet right now. What's that one, Julie? Morton's neuroma. And Morton's neuroma, whatever that is, God, heal him, Lord. Heal him right now. All the pain from his feet and heal that other condition, Lord. Let you know him power flow for Paul right now. And our friend Bex from, um, from New Zealand, she needs prayer for insomnia and recurring pleurisy. God, touch Bex from insomnia and pleurisy right now. Let you know him power flow into her lungs. And I pray give Bex a deep beautiful slip. I want to share a scripture here right now. I really feel led to read in Exodus chapter 14. You know the word of God is powerful. And we see it here is a picture how Moses was leading the children of Israel out of Israel and, the, the, and before them was a Red Sea that, that seemed impossible but behind them was the Egyptian army coming. And they were like in an impossible situation. But it's interesting, the word of the Lord came from Moses. We picked this up in Exodus 14, 14, 13. And Moses said to the people, fear not. Don't be, I tell you, don't be afraid. Stand firm. You know, stand firm in God's word. Stand firm in faith. You know, you, know, you won't be facing the impossibilities before you and behind you, but feel you're, you're, in a, you're caught like a meat in a sandwich. But the power, God is with you. God will say to you, fear not, stand firm and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will work for you today. For the, for the Egyptians whom you see today, you should not never see again. And you know, you know, um, the Egyptians can be interpreted as, it could be your fibromyalgia, your cancer, it could, could be your depression. And you know, God says, don't fear, stand firm, because God is working salvation in your situation. And there will be a time where, where, where these things will never be seen again. This will, God's going to work a miracle in your life. But he says, and, and, the, and the, um, the Lord will fight for you and you shall only have to be silent. And there's many translations could be just, just relax, you know, don't get stressed out. The Lord is fighting for you. Understand God is for us. And right now, as I'm praying, God is with you. God is for you. You are not alone. Don't be afraid. God is with you. He's fighting for you. So right now, God's, God's working. God's doing some great things here in your life and my life. What's the next one, Julie? Okay. Quite a few people have got uh, need prayer for headaches. So Marina Soul has got headaches and also concussion and too much fluid on the brain. Okay. Touch Maria and everyone else with um, headaches or migraines or brain injuries, whatever problem with the head or pain you might have could be even a vertigo. Whatever, Lord, right now, touch heads right now. Touch Maria's head. I command migraines and headaches to go right now with brain injuries or accidents. And God, headaches go right now. I command all pain in heads right now. All dizziness or numbness, brain tumors, whatever problems in the head right now. 
Article healing, I break migraines right now. I break tension headaches right now. I command all the pain lift off people's heads right now. We thank you God for your anointing. It's flowing over people right now. We thank God for pains leaving people right now and we give all the praise. Our friend Jessica from Victoria, she often comes to our meetings in Melbourne. She recently had a baby, a miracle baby, um, a couple of m months ago, but wow. she's got a sore back and she's having abnormal um, periods and spotting. She's healed Jessica's spine right now. Yeah. I decree normal periods in your wonderful name. God, touch Jessica right now. All the pain leave her spine in your wonderful name, Jesus. Let your anointing fly through her spine. And I decree normal uh, periods in your wonderful name, Jesus. Touch us good right now, Jesus. And there's quite a few people who are asking for prayer for anxiety and trauma. And this comes back to what I was sharing about in Exodus 14 and verse 13. You know, fear not, don't be afraid. I want to tell you, God is with you. We're not alone. People are a bit later, I'll be praying about this coronavirus. Many people are scared, but God is with us, friend. God is with us. And Lord, right now, I come against fear and anxiety. God, I declare your peace that passes all understanding. Just put your hand on your head right now if I'm praying. God, peace for their minds right now. God, I lift off the heaviness, that stress, and that tension, and the fear. I break that right now. And we thank you, Lord, for your peace that passes all understanding. And let your anointing touch, touch every person. We thank you for your peace and your joy. Just flood people's minds right now. We need to break it off in Jesus' name. Every single person. Christine for emphysema, and there's several people who've asked for healing of emphysema. Christine. God, touch Christine right now, and I, I declare healing for emphysema. Every per, other person and asthma, for others might have asthma. I declare healing for lungs right now. A miracle in lungs, in your wonderful name, Jesus. That your anointing flow right now into lungs. Emphysema, asthma, even lung cancer, whatever lung problem, whatever breathing problem. Be healed in Jesus' name. And I can understand this coronavirus that I talk about, you know, it gets in the lungs. Don't be afraid. God, I decree right now you even strengthen people's lungs supernaturally and bring healing to them. Amen. Rob McKenzie from New Zealand, thyroid and gut issues. God, heal Rob right now. God, heal his thyroid and heal his gut. Let your power flow into Rob right now. Touch Rob, Lord, wherever he is in New Zealand and set him free. And anyone else who could have that as well, God, we thank you for your anointing that's flowing right now through Rob. And every other person, whatever they're believing for, we stand with them right now. Sandra Gardner, our friend, she often comes to meetings for groin, uh, groin swelling. God, heal Sandra right now. I command all the, all the pain and swelling the groin to go right now. I declare a miracle that your anointing flow through the groin right now. And thank you, Lord, for your healing virtues flowing right now into Sandra's groin. Total healing, no more inflammation, whatever's causing that, total healing in Jesus' name. And Sandra's husband, Ross, for dementia and atrial fibrillation. God, heal Sandra's husband Ross. right now, Ross. Touch his mind and his heart. Let your anointing power flow through him right now and set him free. Ian Hendry for brain cancer. God, heal Ian right now, Lord. I come against brain cancer. I command every cancer cell to die. And God, everyone else who's got cancer right now, just lay your hands where you are right now. And we thank you for your anointing that's flowing into the, in every, every body right now. Every cancer cell to die, every tumor to shrink and to disappear, and the associated anxiety or fear of that. Right now, I decree peace for their minds right now. For Jacinta Castles for lupus. God, I heal Jacinta right now. I command lupus to be healed in Jesus' name. Let the healing power flow through her body right now, or nerve pain, or and the lupus to leave right now. I declare it from this very hour a miracle for Jacinta in Jesus' name. Um, our friend Carol in, um, uh, there's quite a few people, ladies from Wales, tuning in. Hi, our friend Carol from hi, Wales. Hi, the all Welsh people. Um, radiotherapy, effects of radiotherapy. What's your name again? Carol. Go heal Carol from the effects of radiotherapy right now. All the souls that were damaged during that right now, I decree any numbness or pain or nerve damage to be healed and set her free right now. And anyone else who could have, have a chemo or radiotherapy damage, let your anointing flow right now, every single person. And I want to keep encouraging you, you know, uh, maybe you've just tuned in. I want to encourage you that as I'm praying, even though I might be praying for you specifically, you can by faith reach out and lay your hands on the part of your body where you need healing and even though I'm praying for someone else or even a different condition, 
You know, God knows the power of God can flow into your body and heal you. We see this all the time, especially in meetings, doing corporate prayer. I might pray for one person and God will heal six, six others. It's amazing. Just reach out as I'm praying and God is going to touch you. And welcome all those who've joined online since I began. Welcome here. I know people are joining all the time. Welcome and thanks for tuning in. And it's a great pleasure to be here with you, praying with you. Okay, for Kay Cochrane from Macular Degeneration. God heal Kay right now. Heal her eyes right now. As healing power flow into her eyes, I declare clear vision. I command a healthy macula in the name of Jesus. And anyone else, you've got sore eyes, you've got um, short sighted, long sightedness, whatever blindness or vision problem you have, put your hand on your eyes right now. So God heal anyone right now, believing right now for a miracle of their eyes, or whatever is long sighted, short sighted, macular degeneration, glaucoma, detached retina, whatever problem right now, I declare a miracle for vision and eyesight. Let it be so. Let it be so. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, John Macca from Florida. He's had tinnitus for eight months. God heal John. It's tinnitus right now. I command anyone else, I'll put your hand on your ears if you've got tinnitus. I command tinnitus to be healed right now. I command the ringing to cease. Let your in power, Lord, flow right now to every person. I command the ringing to cease in Jesus' name. Total healing right now. Total healing right now. A miracle for ears right now. And deafness right now. I'm praying deafness, associated deafness right now, or problems of hearing. I command the ears to open right now. No more tenderness or deafness in Jesus' name. For Raylene Kennedy, uh, Kenny, sorry, right torn um, meniscus in her knee. Do I heal Raylene right now in the right knee right now to create a miracle? I thank God even now you're hearing power is flowing into a knee. Rallying, if you move your knee, you, you, you're going to notice a change in your knee. I just feel the power of God flowing right now in that meniscus. God is healing that right knee right now. And God is healing other knees too right now. You've got a knee problem. Put your hands there too. Because the power is a strong anointing flowing right now. All knees to be healed. Especially that one for this person right now. All swelling to go. All pain to go. In Jesus' name. Crystal Hewitt-Smith needs all pain to go so she can heal, or feed her baby again. Oh God, heal Crystal right now. I command all pain to go from her body. All pain, all formation to go so she can feed her baby pain free and live pain free. And that goes for anyone. If you, you're listening, you have pain right now. Put your hand where the pain is. And I'm going to pray, God, I command only Crystal, but every person tuning in, I command pain to go Amen. in Jesus' name. I command all pain to go now from the necks and the knees and the elbows and the spines and the feet. I command all joint inflammation to go right now. Stomach pain, chest pain, pain go in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, for your anointing power that's touching people. Pain is leaving now. We give you all the glory, Jesus. And for Chris Porter's prostate cancer spread to his bones and spine. God, I heal Chris right now. I break that cancer. I command Chris or every cancer cell to die in your body right now. I decree life. I, com I command every tumor to dissolve or cancer to dissolve. Let you empower Jesus, flow through Chris's body, every part of Chris's being right now. I decree healing for Chris and also for the mind. Peace for Chris's mind too in Jesus' name. For Vladimiris. He's had hemorrhoids for three years. God, Vladimir, I command hemorrhoids to dis dissolve and disappear now. I command for this very hour, they will shrink. We've seen that happen before many times. Hemorrhoids will shrink in Jesus' name and disappear in Jesus' name. Okay, for Michelle uh, Niho, she comes to a few of our meetings. Blind left eye pain and inflammation. Do I heal Michelle's blind left eye inflammation right now for her body and her eye? Total healing for her right now. Let Thank you, God, for the empowers touching Michelle right now. And for Lynn Voisey, she is a great um, encourager of ours on Facebook. She needs healing from brain damage God, and, and other things. Go heal Lynn from brain damage right now. We thank you, God. There's no distance in prayer. Thank you, God, for the empowers touching Lynn right now into her brain. God, even even recreate the brain cells that were damaged. Touch her brain, her mind, and thinking right now in Jesus' name. For Claire and Larissa McLennan for uh, healing from pernicious anemia. Claire and Larissa. Lord, heal Claire and, and Larissa right now from anemia. I declare a miracle. Normal blood cells to be multiplied 
in the, the bone marrow. I break that anemia right now. I decree a turnaround for those ladies right now, healthy red blood cells. I decree a miracle, Lord, let that anemia be healed in their bodies right now. Let it be so. Serena Jones, Lyme disease and autoimmune God, disease. God, heal Serena right now. Lyme disease and autoimmune disease uh, condition. I command to be healed right now. I command all associated pain to go right now and in the mind to be touched right now. Peace for the mind. It's going to be power to go. Flow through the, her body right now. Lyme disease, be healed. And if you've got Lyme disease, you're tuning in right now. Just, just lay your hands on your body. In fact, you might not have Lyme disease, but you can lay your hands and pray with me. And whatever condition you have, there's anointing for you to be healed tonight. Susie Slick is a nurse and she's had an ongoing sore throat and cough, which has put her off work. She works with the elderly and this might be a good time to play for all the medical yeah, people working okay. with Susie, corona. is it? Susie Slick, yep. Uh, well, sore throat and cough. Susie Slick, sore throat. And cough. And cough right now. Command right now that, that to be healed. And also touch every nurse and doctor in the medical Amen. field right now. Touch them right now, Jesus. All the medical professionals who are often they're becoming quite taxed in these days. Give them strength and give them energy, Lord God, and bring healing. Especially for Susie, Lord. No sore throat. A miracle. We thank you, God. Um, okay. A, a Michelle Woodworth, bowel and liver cancer. God, heal Michelle from bowel and liver cancer. Lord, I decree your healing power to flow in Michelle's bowels and liver right now. I decree a miracle. We thank you, God. There's no distance in prayer. And if, you, if you've just tuned in, you've got cancer, you lay hands. This is this prayer's for you too. I command cancer to be healed in the liver. I command life to liver, life to the bell. Every tumor to shrink and disappear. I command Jesus right now, a miracle right now. I command a miracle, Jesus. Cancer to go, every cancer cell to die. I pray, pray for a miracle, God, that her markers will be normal when they do the next test with her. Max Altinger from epilepsy. Do I heal Max's epilepsy right now? I command a miracle for the mind right now. No more epilepsy. And if you've got epilepsy or problems like that, you lay, you pray right now with me too. I decree healing for Max right now. I command no more epileptic fits in the name of Jesus. No more seizures in the name of Jesus for Max. Um, for Shania Paulson, she's got a fractured uh, right shoulder broken in three places. God, heal Shania's broken shoulder right now. I decree a miracle. Shania, there's no distance in prayer. I believe the power of God is going to flow this shoulder right now. Lord, it's Shania's shoulder right now. I decree a miracle. Let your anointing flow right now. I declare pain to go, sepsis to go. I declare a miracle for Shania right now into that right shoulder. And Lord, we thank you for your healing power that will keep flowing through Shani, even long after I've finished here, your healing power will, will keep touching her. For Naruma, she's got for, in, uh, fertility issues and she wants a second baby. God, touch Naruma and heal her fertility issues. I decree a second baby for her, Lord God, a miracle in her womb. And if you're a woman tuning in and you can't afford pregnant, you've got problems with fertility, this prayer is for you. Touch every woman in the same situation. Heal problems in the, in the womb, uh, fertility problems. A miracle for every woman. I decree babies in Jesus' name. Miracle babies. Miracle babies. Okay, Ursula from Sweden. Hormone imbalances, allergies, and asthma. God, I heal Ursula right now from asthma and hormone imbalance and allergies right now. Let your power flow over Ursula right now. We thank you, God, for your anointing that's flowing out, touching every single person. Even long after we finish this, even when people go back and watch this, the anointing will be just as fresh and strong and powerful, God, God, your word is dynamic. We thank you, God, touch every person right now. Sahara, who's a, um, had a rare urinary tract infection for four years. God, heal Sahara right now. I declare a miracle for urinary tract right now. No more infection. I command that infection to die. And I declare it in Jesus' name. Let your know your flow right now under Sahara's urinary tract right now. No more infections in the name of of Jesus. Uh, Linda's um, asking for prayer for Joy, who's in a coma from a car accident. She's got head trauma for Jesus, Joy. Jesus, I pray for a miracle for Joy. Lord, I command a miracle, God. Heal the head trauma. Lord, bring it out of a coma, Lord Jesus. A miracle for Joy. Let your anointing, wherever Joy is, Lord, let your anointing flow into Joy, into her mind, her body, her emotions. 
and a miracle of her brain. Amen. And Sophie, she's also um, got infertility issues for no obvious reason. We've been trying to have a baby for five Sophia. years. So, you, Sophie, you know, Sophie. If you've got babies, just lay hands right now, Lord. Sophie. I'm looking for Sophia right now. Sophie. Sophie, that she can have a bouncing baby. I declare the next 12 months, Sophie, you'll have a little bouncing baby in Jesus' name. Amen. Let it be so. Uh, for Nigel, diabetic neuropathy in his feet. Go heal Nigel right now. For anyone else of this same condition, you lay your hands on your legs too. I command the diabetic neuropathy to be healed. Numbersly the feet right now. Go heal the pancreases right now. I break this diabetes right now. A miracle, Jesus. Turn around for diabetes and all the associated symptoms of neuropathy or pain or numbness, even glaucoma. But a miracle for the feet right now. I command all the feeling to return to the feet right now. For Kerry, cool stock, uh, essential tremors and Sorgan syndrome to go. Go on, he'll carry right now the Sorgan syndrome and the tremors. Lord, the anointing power right now to flow into Kerry. Healing, Lord, right now. Let you know you wash over her and set her feet. Now, Julie, how, how many are there now? Is there many of people? 275 watching, yeah. Uh, 275, 275. So, so how many people are asking for prayers? Loads. Yeah. It's just continuous. But we might. Uh, how are you going? Are you getting a bit okay, tired? Okay, you... okay. What's going to happen now? You know what? If I named everyone, you could be, we could be here for several hours. We've got hundreds watching us. But, but I want to encourage you. If we haven't called your name out, Julie and I are going to go back uh, on this clip. And, we, and Julie, look at all the names now. And we, we're going to just re-pray over the list of people, Okay. And so we're thinking about you, but right now for for those for those people who I've named personally, uh, I, want, I want to encourage you right now. I'm going to do something a little bit different right now. I'm going to put my hand up to the screen, and I want to encourage any any person who needs a miracle, well, whatever need it is. I want you to put your hand on the screen or on my hand if you can. You can't, but but the closer thing is put your hand on the screen over my hand, and I'm going to stand in agreement with you. You know, there's power in the blood of Jesus. There's power in agreement. And we agree that Jesus is the Lord. He's risen from the dead. He is alive. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He still heals and there's miracles. I want to stand in agreement for your miracle. So as my hand is there, reach out to the screen, put your hand there, and there is no distance in prayer. It's like, like oh, we're touching each other right now. And I'm going to pray. I'm going to stand in agreement for every sickness. And anyone who's ever suffering right now, listen to this. And I believe the anointing by faith is going to flow to your body, whatever the need. So right now, reach out right now, and I'm going to pray. Lord Jesus, right now, I stand in agreement for every person, whatever they're praying for right now, for their family, their illness, this disease or pain. And I stand in agreement right now, according to your word, that you are Lord Jesus. And there's none like you, Lord. We love you, Lord. And Lord, we ask you right now, we stand in agreement, let your healing power to flow right now into every sick body. I command Jesus all pain leave bodies right now. That the, as God has eyes, I reach out in faith, your anointing is flowing from my hand, into their hand, into their bodies right now. All pain to leave the necks, the spines, the knees, the, 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 the uh, ear aches right now, neck aches, head aches, tooth aches, whatever pain, inflammation, Whatever part of the body and the feet, I decree your healing power to, to wash, to flow right now in their bodies. And Lord, I stand in agreement also for every disease, Lord, for, for eye problems, blindness. Lord, you heal eyes right now, ears right now, headaches right now, gum disease right now, heart disease. Heal hearts right now. Heal lungs, asthma, emphysema right now. Heal spines right now. As I'm praying right now, your anointing is flowing into people's bodies. God, heal people right now of damaged knees, of, of, of damaged elbow, tennis elbow, and, and arthritic fingers right now. I decree healing from arthritis right now in Jesus' name. Normal fingers right now, normal movement right now, carpal tunnel to be healed, tennis elbow to be healed, uh, frozen shoulders to be healed. You know, I believe some people here, you've had like a lot of pain in your shoulder and I really feel right now, if you begin to lift your hand, you find God is releasing your shoulders. Pain is even leaving right now. And Lord, every stomach complaint right now, uh, we have an IBS, endometriosis right now, stomach pain right now. I stand in agreement for every person, the anointing to flow for their stomachs 
and skin conditions, rashes and itchiness and psoriasis and, and wounds that won't heal and boils, school sores, whatever skin conditions, I declare healing right now and sinus problems right now and uh, blockage in the nose and toothaches and, and um, hearing problems, deafness right now, God, it, cancer right now. I stand in agreement right now. I think if you're anointing, that's flowing. Infections to Infections to be healed right now in Jesus' name. Cancer. And cancer. Every, God, we thank you for your anointing that's flowing. Lord, you know every sickness. And I'm standing with you right now to believe in Jesus' name. Amen. And you know what? I want to encourage you. And, uh, you know, nothing's impossible for Jesus. We've yeah. seen so many miracles. And uh, if I pray for you, for you tonight... You know, we've indirectly or by name. It doesn't matter. God, God sees you right now. Honest. And like I read in, in, in Exodus 14 and 13, the first thing was, don't be afraid. Fear not. So don't be afraid. God is fighting for you. God is with you. He's a faithful God. And right now, I'd just like to pray, pray a blanket prayer. Everyone, there's so much anxiety about the coronavirus, which is understandable. It's a pandemic. But you know what? So is the Holy Spirit. You know, His Spirit fills the earth. <laughs> you know, the power of God is, every, God is everywhere. And right now, I want to pray right now. I want to pray against the coronavirus. I want to pray for protection. But also, I want to pray for your minds. Because uh, allow the peace of God to rule your heart. So right now, I'm gonna, just reach out. To, right now, I'm going to pray. Lord, I pray for peace for every person. I pray for protection against coronavirus. I cover your blood of every person and their family who is listening right now, Lord Jesus. I pray for healing, Lord, especially those who have been anxious about their lungs. I decree strength and life for people's lungs. Right now, I decree healing. I decree protection for the coronavirus right now. Touch every single person. I declare this in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, right now, we're going to just um, wrap it up here. And I really want to thank you for you know, thank you for tuning in. And, you know, I really believe God's doing great things. And if you've been healed or touched, let us know. Drop us a line. And we're planning on doing this more regularly. Well, you know, we haven't done this very often, but we're planning on doing it yeah. regularly, maybe once a month or even more. Even than once that. a week. We don't know yet. We just well, play it by ear as God. We just, we, just, we just really felt led because the coronavirus, when people are stuck in homes, we felt really led to really do this today. We might, this could be... Uh, a very regular thing. Um, and also a question and answer, maybe teaching time. So if people have specific questions about healing, if they write their questions in the comments, we'll look at them yeah. and we can start in maybe another session in a week or two and yeah. address those questions yeah, you we, have. Yeah, we can do a question time. We can do more prayer, specific prayer for people. But right now, um, Julie and I, she's operating behind the scenes there. But we want to really thank you and God bless you. Um, and also a lot of people are asking for prayer for relatives. We were trying to prioritize people who are actually online themselves but if you have specific prayer requests please send them through our website uh, contact page there's a prayer request form there that's the best place though we will pray over all these prayer yeah. requests that have come in by message now in the comments and we encourage you if you've got friends who, who who weren't tuning in have them join the john Mella site and have them go to this video and they can watch it and uh and they can, they can watch it and believe for their own healing. We see many people, I've got clips on YouTube that are years and years old. And people write to me, I've been healed. I did it six, seven years ago. Because the, because the anointing doesn't change. The power of God doesn't change. And so, and so encourage others to, to join us at John Mellor. And, uh, and they can tune in and uh, they can send their prayer requests and they can also uh, watch this many times as they want. Um, some people are commenting too, they've been healed while they've been watching of various yeah. pains and yeah, issues. Yeah, people have already been healed. And someone called Tracy Indian you, knew you and Catherine said you brought their whole family to salvation too. Yeah, so. I remember her, yeah. yeah. And so, but God is good. And the main thing is salvation. And uh, I know I haven't touched on it t today, but the main thing is knowing Jesus. And if you have tuned in, and if you don't know Jesus, he's the most wonderful Lord there is. And you need to know him. It's a simple thing to open your heart and say, Jesus, I need you. Forgive me of my sins. Come into my life. In fact, I'll pray right now before we finish. If you're tuning in, if you, don't have that, if you haven't got a personal relationship with Jesus, and I want to pray right now. And I encourage you, bow your heads and close your eyes. And Lord Jesus, we thank you for every person. 
And I pray those who don't know you or aren't too sure about you, touch them right now. And uh, Lord, touch their hearts, Lord. Let your love come wash over them. We, we thank you, Lord, that you died on the cross for us. You shed your blood. You rose again from the dead and you were alive. And Holy Spirit, we invite you, Holy Spirit of God, even as this video finishes, your anointing will keep flowing and touching and drawing people to truth, drawing people to the cross of Calvary. And we declare it right now. And we thank you, God, that your healing power will continue to work and heal. In your wonderful name, Jesus. Amen. And so we'll probably do this soon. We don't know when, but, but uh, stay tuned. And uh, God bless you. And this is John Mello and Julie Mello. Uh, see you guys. And, 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 and thanks to everyone tuning in. A lot of people. And you remember Nell? Um, she came to our meeting. She was healed years ago of uh, allergies in her stomach to a lot of foods. Yeah. And then the next time we saw yeah, her, she'd she put on weight. She was healed tonight of a torn meniscus while you've oh, been wow. praying to. Oh, wonderful. So see, see, God's doing great stuff. We'll find out more later. But write, write in. Let us know how God's touched you tonight. And... Uh, and um, and so this is really exciting, and uh, and God bless you. And that all, Julie? Yeah, just write any comments of other things you might like us to do, for questions or uh, other things, teaching, particular teachings. Yeah, I'll probably do some more teaching. If you've got, if you've got more information, go on our website, John Melville. We've got a whole, you can see, it could, because of, of, of the coronavirus, things are changing with our itinerary, a whole lot of things been happening. But... Um, and so, and so go to the website, we've got resources, we've got, we've got teaching, we've got a whole lot of teaching stuff on there. You've got news clips from, from, over, from Sid Roth in America, from, from, the, from the, also with the, um, what's that program in England we were on? Oh, TBN UK. TBN UK, TBN UK has a lot of that teaching on there. Tune into the two, t on a website or TBN whole lot of stuff. Yep. There's so many comments coming in, everyone. We, John and I will pray for them all later. I know lots of people are anxious for their families. Yeah. So we'll uh, pray. I promise we'll pray for these yeah, uh, together it, later tonight or tomorrow morning because yeah, there's it, so many. Yeah, you will come back to it. As you know, if I pray for everyone, it take hours. But we'll, we'll, we'll go back and we'll pray for you. So, so we're thinking about you and God bless you. And just keep in touch with us. So, so bye. See you guys. God, God bless, bless you. you bye. bye. Toodaloo. Bye.